Chapter 3. Now in early autumn, when the Israelites had settled in their towns, all the people assembled together as one person in Jerusalem. Then Jeshua, son of Jehozadak, with his fellow priests, and Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, with his family, began to rebuild the altar of the God of Israel, so they could sacrifice burnt offerings on it, as instructed in the law of Moses, the man of God. Even though the people were afraid of the local residents, they rebuilt the altar at its old site. Then they immediately began to sacrifice burnt offerings on the altar to the Lord. They did this each morning and evening. They celebrated the festival of shelters as prescribed in the law of Moses, sacrificing the burnt offerings specified for each day of the festival. They also offered the regular burnt offerings and the offerings required for the new moon celebrations and the other annual festivals to the Lord. Free will offerings were also sacrificed to the Lord by the people. Fifteen days before the festival of shelters began, the priests had begun to sacrifice burnt offerings to the Lord. This was also before they had started to lay the foundation of the Lord's temple. Then they hired masons and carpenters and bought cedar logs from the people of Tyre and Sidon, paying them with food, wine, and olive oil. The logs were brought down from the Lebanon mountains and floated along the coast of the Mediterranean Sea to Joppa, for King Cyrus had given permission for this. The construction of the temple of God began in mid-spring during the second year after they arrived in Jerusalem. The workforce was made up of everyone who had returned from exile, including Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, Jeshua, son of Jehozadak, and his fellow priests, and all the Levites. The Levites who were twenty years old or older were put in charge of rebuilding the Lord's temple. The workers at the temple of God were supervised by Jeshua with his sons and relatives, and Kadmiel and his sons, all descendants of Hodaviah. They were helped in this task by the Levites of the family of Henadad. When the builders completed the foundation of the Lord's temple, the priests put on their robes and took their places to blow their trumpets. And the Levites, descendants of Asaph, clashed their cymbals to praise the Lord, just as King David had prescribed. With praise and thanks they sang this song to the Lord. He is so good. His faithful love for Israel endures forever. Then all the people gave a great shout, praising the Lord because the foundation of the Lord's temple had been laid. Many of the older priests, Levites, and other leaders remembered the first temple, and they wept aloud when they saw the new temple's foundation. The others, however, were shouting for joy. The joyful shouting and weeping mingled together in a loud commotion that could be heard far in the distance.